Ron was able to get me the play while I was in Rio de Janeiro after he'd seen it and I read it and loved it. Um, I didn't know whether it would make a great movie. I had no idea whether it make whether it even make a movie at all. I just knew that I liked it because it from it was a it was as human as all of the other films that Ron has directed, whether you know as wide as Parenthood to Apollo 13 uh, to A Beautiful Mind. It had a human quality that lived inside it because it's about these two men that have a polarized way of how they experience the world. And that was very interesting to me. And it was oddly this kind of sexy David and Goliath type story between David Frost and Richard Nixon, who was known to be one of the most powerful men, if not the most powerful man in the world during the reign of his presidency. And so now David Frost, who was, who was not at the high point of his career, was trying to salvage his career in some way by these interviews that he's going to conduct with Richard Nixon. And, uh, and it was, from the appearance of it, a David and Goliath story. And, and that interested me. And Ron and I have not only done movies that have had that theme within it, but we've also, as filmmakers, <laughs> lived that life. <laughs> um, as our first movie was about a man and a mermaid, Splash, you know, we were clearly an underdog, and we have a sense of what it feels like to be an underdog. Ron and I both saw the play in London. It was with Frank Langella and Michael Sheen, and then it was also acted by Michael Sheen and Frank Langella in New York on Broadway. And I think we felt if we were going to make a movie based on this play that maybe we should go to movie stars. And so we, we kind of weirdly in this Socratic collaborative process tortured ourselves and went 360 degrees back around to the same place. But we did, you know, we did create lists of actors to play these two parts, the Frost character and the Nixon character. And we thought of all types of different actors ranging from every type of movie star. But we... After, after living the challenge of who should play these characters and, as I said, sort of torturing ourselves <laughs> during the Socratic process of choice, we came around to Frank Langell and Michael Sheen and that they, in fact, were the very best, that the audience in a film version didn't have to see other actors, that these actors were so convincing and were so talented and so right for those roles that we could then broaden the move, broaden the play with scope itself, but keep the remaining two leads.